In order to use your mini PCR Bio Blue Gel Electrophoresis System, you'll need to pour agarose gels. Mini PCR Bio provides three options for pouring gels all in one agarose tabs, plain agarose tabs, or agarose powder. This video will cover how to create gels using all in one tabs. You can find links to videos on the other two methods in the description below. Before pouring your gel, you want to set up your gel casting platform. Place the clear gel tray into the white casting platform. Place the comb in the notches of the platform at the end of the gel tray. For users new to pipetting, we recommend placing the larger side of the comb with fewer teeth down. If you need more wells in your gel, you can add a second comb to the second set of notches. Now that the casting platform is set up, we can make our gel. In this example, we will be making a 2% agarose gel. All-in-one agarose tabs like sea green and gel green agarose tabs are the simplest and fastest way to pour gels. Each tab includes the agarose buffer and fluorescent DNA stain to make one 2% agarose gel for use in a blue gel system. You can find detailed instructions on adapting all-in-one tabs to pour gels of other percentages in the description below. To cast a 2% gel, add one all-in-one tab to 20 milliliters of room temperature distilled water in a container with at least 100 milliliters capacity. You can adjust these volumes to cast any desired gel percentage, or to prepare multiple gels at once. Let the tab soak until it breaks up and then swirl until it is fully disintegrated. Heat in a microwave for 60 seconds or until the solution boils. Keep an eye on it to make sure it doesn't boil over. Swirl using a heat proof mitt to make sure that the solution is well mixed. Make sure all the agarose crystals have dissolved. If agarose crystals remain, microwave for another five to 10 seconds, then check again. Because the DNA stain has already been added, the solution will have a yellow or orange tint. You can also use a hot plate if a microwave is not available, but this will take longer. Ensure that the all-in-one tab has broken up before heating. Once you've prepared the agarose solution, pour it into the assembled gel casting tray. You can pour the agarose solution immediately into the tray. You do not need to wait for it to cool. The gel will set in about 10 minutes. Once cooled, it should feel firm like jello. Now you're ready to remove the combs and load your gel into your electrophoresis box. If you want to store your gels to run at a later time, you can prepare gels up to five days in advance. Wrap your prepared gels in plastic wrap or place them in an airtight container and store at room temperature, protected from light, for up to five days. Gels should not be stored submerged in buffer. Next, you'll want to ensure that you have an appropriate quantity of TBE buffer to run your gel. You will need 30 milliliters of TBE buffer for each gel you want to run in a blue gel. TBE powder from Mini PCR Bio makes buffer preparation simple. For most classrooms, the 5.1 gram container of TBE powder, which makes 600 milliliters of TBE buffer, enough for 20 blue gel runs, is sufficient. Combine the TBE buffer powder with distilled water and mix until dissolved. It can take up to 15 minutes for the powder to dissolve, but you can stir or gently heat the solution to help the powder dissolve more quickly. TBE buffer can be stored at room temperature for at least three months when stored in a closed container. To learn more about all-in-one agarose tabs and other methods of pouring gels meant for the Blue Gel Electrophoresis system, you can visit minipcr.com.